So I, I work mainly in applied partial differential equations. So uh, PDEs are one of the basic uh, uh, tools and techniques that one uses for modeling in uh, physics and engineering. And uh, I've been uh, focusing more lately in the last years in uh, two directions, applications in uh, math biology and applications in plasma physics. So in both of them, uh, the PDEs I studied, they have some uh, important applications, like uh, in plasma physics it would be uh, related to, uh, pl uh, to collisional plasmas, which uh, have interest, for instance, in the ITER project that you have very nearby. And uh, on uh, math biology, more on tissue growth, cell cell addition models, and uh, how to describe uh, their, their collective behavior. So I can enter a bit more in detail if you want on this. So what we would like to do is to explain uh, the behavior of a, um, a system composed of many particles based on the microscopic behavior of them. So in particular in plasma physics, we are talking about the electrons and ions that are in the plasmas. And then we want to explain their collective behavior, but based on the basic principle of interaction between electrons and ions. And in the case of cells, they are, I mean, in the case of tissue growth, they are cells that are interacting through, again, basic rules, like the volume they occupied, uh, like the uh, ligands that they produce when they uh, uh, they have uh, proteins in their surface and they uh, get together and they adhere to each other. So these rules, how they uh, translate into microscopic behaviors and what is the uh, uh, overall behavior of the system based on that. So we want to extract microscopic information from microscopic information and these are the PDs I work with. Well, um, one of the main reasons I had to meet is because uh, I'm in the middle of my ERC project and in my ERC project precisely two or three of the main strands are related to uh, several equations in which there are a good group of people locally in, uh, in Marseille and mainly in, uh, in overall in France because aggregation diffusion equations and kinetic equations are very strong in France. So I thought it was a good way also of developing uh, those strands even further, make uh, some impactful events in the community, in Europe, in those fields that will uh, be beneficial to me also from the point of view of developing my project. So this is one of the main motivations. Yes, yeah, so uh, I was explaining a little bit before the overall uh, uh, objective of uh, trying to explain microscopic behavior from microscopic behavior of the systems. This uh, leads to uh, several questions. So for instance, one of the questions is about how to connect those uh, uh, systems, the microscopic description to the microscopic description. This is related to some kind of limits when you pass uh, with the number of uh, particles to infinity. One of the possible limits is what is called the mean field limit. This is one of the questions that we have been focusing, but also on the applications of them. So as I said, the application in plasma physics has been uh, one of the main strands. Uh, uh, one of the workshops was uh, devoted precisely to this. Then the, uh, both advancing the analysis and the uh, uh, numerical analysis and scientific computing of uh, aggregation diffusion equations. It has been uh, uh, another, another important line of research for me. In fact, it's half of my, uh, the strand of my ERC project on this. And the main conference was devoted to that. And also, uh, uh, we have been uh, working in uh, what are the next uh, uh, good uh, research lines for the future in this direction. And I have been open to other applications that are opening now, like uh, applications more, again, in math biology, because there are plenty and different uh, directions, and also in machine learning. So that's why uh, in the summer school, I have a little bit of uh, um, courses which span from uh, the pure analysis of PDEs to real applications. Yes, I have to say that uh, probably the main event, the conference, was uh, quite, quite good for me because I could bring uh, most of the uh, um, people that have uh, contributed a lot in the last years in these directions of interest to me in analysis, and numerical analysis and scientific computer aggregation diffusion equations and the connections by mean field limits. So and, uh, most of them, they, uh, they, they, they came and gave great talks and uh, we had a very, very good uh, conference. So, of course, this has originated plenty of discussions and new open problems and new directions that will come um, 
uh, will give some fruit in the next years. But also I have to say that I'm very, uh, the summer school I'm organizing is next week, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm very keen on and see uh, the effect of that also on the young people. We have attracted uh, like a hundred, uh, almost a hundred people in total to the summer school, so I'm also very motivated and, and really uh, keen on see how the new generations are going to go and in which directions the field will move, which because at the end of the day this is also a way of nurturing the new generations uh, for what is coming. Well, I mean, you know, probably this is the typical answer to this question. In mathematics you never reach your goals. So uh, what we have done is to advance the knowledge in the field we are super happy that, uh, 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 to see uh, the state of the art uh, and uh, how advanced uh, things have uh, developed in uh, the field with respect to 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, it's incredible the uh, amount of applications that some of the uh, developments that were done 20, 25 years ago have now, uh, and totally unexpected. Uh, so uh, we hope that uh, this will happen again with the things that we have been discovering and, uh, um, and doing research over the last months. And uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the real how scientific progress is done anyhow. So uh, that's, uh, I, I can say that yes, we have reached the goals in that sense. Um, you will always want more, but uh, that's life. We, I'm very optimistic anyhow. Um, this, uh, the, the, uh, this is a very good question. I think uh, maybe uh, the best I can say is uh, one thing that I already probably mentioned before. I think uh, one of the things that we have, uh, that the CIRM, uh, the, 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 the Chermolet brings uh, to make uh, scientific progress is that it gives you the right uh, time to uh, make a state of the art of the field. Uh, think about what are the next uh, new uh, directions of research that you think are going to attract uh, more people and that uh, also are going to be uh, of more interest and with more open problems and interesting for science. And uh, this, I think, uh, that's uh, probably how scientific progress has been done in the sense that we have nurturing new, or we are going to do that, new generations in those directions like in machine learning or in math biology. Uh, but of course, the last theorem I did last week is very important, as usual in math. And then uh, the next theorem that I will discover in a couple of weeks will be two. <laughs> yes, so it has been very intense. Uh, I, I had to say that uh, people that know me know that uh, I usually uh, um, like uh, to travel and so on. But after this period of uh, going back and forth and being for a long time outside of Oxford, I think next semester I want to stay longer. <laughs> so, and also, just uh, not kidding, I think uh, my plan is uh, precisely uh, to continue the discussion with my postdocs and PhD students that uh, during this period they were visiting me here, most of them, but um, I want to, uh, you know, uh, they suffer also a little bit my absence, so uh, I had to give back to them. A book, maybe? Uh, yes, in fact, uh, I forgot about mentioning this before, in fact, but uh, we started in one of the one of the things that we started is to organize uh, the um, a book in aggregation diffusion equations, and uh, this was one of the research in pairs uh, events that we had. And uh, we have advanced at least in setting what we want to do, where we want to stop, what we want to write. And hopefully in the next year, year and a half, two, it will be done. So certainly uh, once uh, I have more calm of spirit than some of my postdocs and PhD students uh, leave or graduate from uh, the, the ERC project, uh, then I will certainly focus on that and finish that project. It has been very interesting to start this project with my uh, co-authors on that here. Yes, so the best I can say is that, uh, well, first, there are two things to say uh, uh, related to CIRM. CIRM is a lovely place, run by nice people, 
and uh, the, uh, their, w uh, their will is uh, to serve the mathematical community and they do it in a great way. So fantastic place to be. But it cannot be even more impressive that uh, you can spend six months here in the middle of the national park of the Calanque and enjoy the good weather and uh, the bad weather, uh, the Mistral, the, 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 the um, Seagal in summer. And uh, so it's, it's really a fantastic place to be. So I'm concerned in science. Of course, it gives you the calm of spirit and, uh, uh, as I said a bit before, to concentrate and focus on a purely research period of six months to do exactly what you want. So uh, that's, uh, that's really uh, now difficult to find everywhere else in the world. So if there is anybody that is thinking about applying for it, don't hesitate. Please do it. Uh, I would like to, uh, in fact, express my gratitude uh, to the University of Oxford for allowing me to be here most of the time in the last uh, six months. Also to the University of Marseille and the Department of Math because uh, they have been very, very uh, friendly and uh, hospitalarian during this period. Uh, particularly my co-organizer, Nuri, and uh, the, 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 the teams on uh, PDEs and numerical analysis in, uh, in, in the department. And uh, all the sponsors at the end of the day, uh, like the European Math Society, the ERC, my project, of course, the city of uh, Marseille, and uh, the CNRS, and uh, many others that uh, have uh, made possible that we have done all these events and have this uh, positive, uh, um, let's say, uh, feedback on the community. At the end of the day, the, the investment that uh, they do, in particular in my research, is to uh, make a research advance, not only for me, but for the whole community in which I am inserted. So I tried also to, uh, to uh, make it possible that uh, everyone in all the groups that are working on this, they, they, they get involved. Thank you very much. And uh, the final thing I would like to say is that uh, I really uh, love the area and uh, the venue uh, Cassidan. <laughs>